Beneath this tranquil field lies a weapon that doesn't target land, but movement. Landmines remain dormant for decades, activated only by the weight of a footstep. Unlike other weapons, they don't discriminate between soldier or child, war or peace. Their design is chillingly simple, wait, then maim. This is why over 60 million active mines still haunt post-conflict zones worldwide. This cross-section reveals the brutal efficiency of a pressure-activated mine. When depressed by just 5 to 10 kilograms, a child's weight, the spring compresses, striking the detonator. No electronics, no expiration date, just physics waiting to cripple. Modern variants use plastic casings to evade metal detectors, while fragmentation mines propel shrapnel upward to maximize injuries. This isn't warfare, it's mechanized ambush. Meet Ahmed, a Cambodian farmer who lost both legs to a mine buried before he was born. His story isn't unique, 80% of mine casualties are civilians, half being children. Unlike bullets that stop when wars end, mines keep claiming victims through generations. Fields become death traps, roads become Russian roulette. The UN estimates one mine is cleared every 30 minutes, and another victim every two hours. Demining teams wage history's most meticulous war. Using metal detectors, drones, and even trained rats, they clear an area the size of 140 football fields daily. The 1997 Ottawa Treaty banned anti-personnel mines, yet 32 countries remain outside this agreement. Progress is visible. Casualty rates dropped from 26,000 annually in the 1990s to under 5,000 today. But with millions still buried, the race continues. This playground in Bosnia was a minefield until 2019. Such transformations happen daily thanks to organizations like Halo Trust and Mines Advisory Group. Your support funds robotic clearance tools, survivor prosthetics, and education programs. Remember, landmines weaponize the most human act, movement. By helping eradicate them, you're not just removing metal, but restoring freedom itself. Visit NGO website to take your first step.